So here's what happens when you have a productive day. It just gets freaking insane. Chaos everywhere. On the ground chaos. This table is chaos. <laughs> it's just all over the place. Even that's chaos. But this is just amazing. So I was so excited that I got the car on the ground and how great it looked. I forgot that I have to, the whole reason was to get the body on so I could adjust the uh, rear exhaust. So I'm gonna see if I can tackle that right now. So with these right angle adapters, the uh, mechanism gets pretty hot, so sometimes you have to let them cool before you uh, move on. Alright, so it's another day. I had to run to the store and get a uh, special drill bit that had the hex end because these 90 degree angles only work with the hex end uh, fitting. So now that... Uh, ooh. This one's magnetic too, so that's nice. Don't have to worry about dropping my bit. So I just need to route out these holes and we should be good to uh, install the uh, rear exhaust and uh, good to go. All right, so we got our nice tips in, and uh, I was having a little hard time cutting this off, and I was trying different things like the uh, replicating saw, but ended up just using a utility knife and chopping at it a little bit. But got it all bolted up. This holds everything up above the axle, but what's cool is there's a joint right here. So you could actually get some nice adjustment, which works out really well. This one, chopped it a little much, but it's, it's working okay. As long as it's flush here so you can get your, uh, your uh, bottom of your floor in. So 
So that's good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some odds and ends. We're going to see if we can get the tunnel cut. We could see if we could get the gas pedal fitted um, and just, you know, do some little odds and ends and uh, go from there. Cut the trans tunnel, and the trans tunnel cut allows you to adjust, you know, how tight you can get it, how not tight you can get it. But we're having issues. We're having issues where the actual shifter linkage, which you can see that little little bolt right there coming out, is slamming into the side of this. And so one of the suggestions was is you know you you tack this in, and then you kind of bow this, and then push this back in. Well. You can see where the pedal is that, you know, my foot's going to be like this and it's, it's really tight and touching. So if we could push this in and get it away, it'd be great, but we're hitting right here with the, with the actual shifter lever. So the other thing here is I was going to mount the pedal over to the side, but since the trans tunnel is just so far in the way, um, I ended up taking the bracket off of the pedal, the like OEM bracket. This is off a of Corvette. And instead of mounting it over here and having it come down, I couldn't get my foot on the pedal. So I took the bracket off and now I'm going to, right now it's just, uh, you know, temporarily sitting here, but I'm going to mount this inside this area and come up with a little bracket to hold, hold it in place so it's sturdy. But this has been the best scenario, and you kind of saw me testing things before with my leg going up and down. And, uh, you know, it's a tight fit. This is a real tight fit. And I can't even imagine having a clutch pedal over here because my shoe barely even clears between this pedal and this wall. 
And, uh, you know, we don't have the carpet in, we don't have any of the soundproofing, nothing, none of that's in yet. And that's what I'm a little bit worried about over here too, is once we add that extra half inch of material, um, it's going to be really tight. So, and sorry, I couldn't get this on camera because I had to jump like inside the car the whole time. And there's just no way to get a camera angle. I mean, you can see here, you can barely see anything. And then over here, I would have been blocking it. So uh, that's kind of what's going on there. So the next step that we need to do is kind of go through here and get these gaps trimmed in a little bit more and uh, trim out the body with some extra steps. So let's hop on that. So the next step I need to do is trim in the uh, trunk area. So the way that not only do all the doors and the trunk and you know the hood and stuff like that all come oversized, but the actual opening for the trunk is actually oversized too. So what you need to do is measure about three quarter inches all the way around, mark that off, and then I went to the store and bought a die grinder and I'm gonna take the die grinder and go around and get all that stuff trimmed to a line so it's a perfect three quarters inch all the way around. Uh, and so what that allows you to do is then you can actually put your weather stripping onto the seam of the trunk, the opening of the trunk, and then you could put your trunk on top of it and get it gapped like it would normally would at the right height, yada, yada, yada. And then you have to start trimming in the outside of the trunk, which won't be able to get to that today, but at least I can get the inside all prepared so I could actually keep all the dust outside and then bring the body back in. And when I go to do the trunk later, I could fit it here on the car and then take it outside, chop it up, come back, fit it, take it outside, chop it, and do it in multiple iterations until it all comes into line. So that's kind of what I'm planning on doing with the doors and everything.
So now that we have everything trimmed up, I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up, get all this dust off me, and then I'm gonna go in and start putting the actual brackets on the frame before I put the body back on because uh, that's the easiest way to do it. And then start getting those door hinges popping through the actual body of the car and uh, kind of see where we're going from there. And then after that, in another video, I'll start getting the doors on there, aligning them, gapping it in, things like that. Um, luckily, uh, you know, neighbors walking by, walking their dogs and stuff. Hey, can you give me a hand? <laughs> Help me throw the body on the car. So I'm just really appreciative of all my neighbors that have been helping me out uh, moving stuff around.
So we made a makeshift table so we could actually do some installation of the door parts. We have uh, the new brackets that are going to, you know, new as in they're out here ready to be installed. Um, and we got the uh, door brackets in nice and a uh, little bit tight. No slop because you don't want any slop when you're doing your door alignments. And uh, so, you know, this bracket over here has four bolts and you could kind of slide it and shift it a little bit uh, to get these to line up perfectly in the center of these holes. So right now they are centered and everything's looking good. And, uh, and then also, you know, I was able to get these sides trimmed in a little bit better. So uh, it's nice and aligned pretty well. Right now I don't have this all, you know, massively uh, tied in or anything. I haven't actually drilled the holes to the body itself. I'm kind of waiting on that a little bit. However, let me just move this. I feel like this side could come in just a hair more. So there's a little problem spot right here where it's hitting the frame and I keep taking more and more and more away, but uh, it's still always hitting. So I'm gonna do one more drastic adjustment the next time this thing's off the body or <laughs> the next time it's off the frame and uh, go from there. But uh, all in all, everything's coming together and uh, we're going to have to piece a bunch of this together inside the door. And I know from build school, that was like the biggest nightmare was doing the door stuff. However, I will say that this looks all new to me. This is not version one stuff, if I'm not mistaken. So, but I do have uh, powered windows. And so, you know, getting all this stuff is one thing and then putting in the power windows, that's, that's where the nightmare is going to show up. And I also don't remember this on version one, this little offset here, I don't think exists. I think this was smooth. So I'm going to have to discuss that a little bit to see what's going on, because maybe this is an exact line of where you cut in your windows, which is probably to my benefit that that's there because before you're just like eyeballing it and winging it. So stuff to discover and figure out, but uh, all in all, this little badass of a machine is coming to life and just look how that blue pops on that caliber. This car is gonna be freaking a, a, a showstopper when it gets done. Have a great day.